This is part three of Soldiers Gambling at the Foot of the Cross. And our Bible reading came from Matthew 27, where it referred to this Roman soldiers who had uh, brought Jesus after they uh, whipped him and put a crown of thorns upon him. Uh, they brought him to a cross and nailed him to it. And these soldiers were gambling at the foot of the cross. In Matthew 27, right around verse 35, you can go see that. They were gambling there, could not see, could not see the fact that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords was dying right there above their heads. And the precious blood of Jesus that was shed for mankind was dripping after it ran down his broken body, dripping onto the ground right there where they was casting their dice. They couldn't see it. So we talked about how that the whole world has been brought to the foot of the cross. It wasn't just for that day. Every man, woman, boy, and girl will have to make a decision either for or against Jesus Christ. And in the last message we left off, we were talking about how these soldiers were blinded by the things of the world and could not see this dying Savior, all for a robe, a royal robe that was taken off of Christ's back. And we talked about how that the preaching of the Word of God brings men to the foot of the cross. You know, we got a lot of preaching today, and I can't wait to address this. We've got a lot of preaching today, a lot of voices today. A lot of noise today. A lot of trumpets being blown today. And the sad fact is, is that 90, over 90% 90 has to do with pride, money, uh, proud, pride of denomination, the promoting of false doctrines, and the flesh, and the world, and the devil. Everything except preaching the precious word of God. When Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Paul was talking about the gospel that got me saved. Paul was talking about the gospel that can save your soul. A gospel that can pull you out of that sin and open up your eyes and see Jesus one good time. The preaching of the word brings man to the foot of the cross today. Not to a new Cadillac, you devil. Not to false doctrines, you devil. Not to the world, the flesh, and the, de and the devil. But to the foot of the cross. That's what preaching is supposed to bring men and women. And today I would like to say that the Bible says, where Paul said to Timothy in 2 Timothy 3.15, that the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. You know, a lot of, a lot of soldiers lack good wisdom. Many of them will sell their soul for a bowl of soup. Many of them will sell their soul just so they can fit in with their friends. Many of them will sell the time that God has given them here on this earth to play games, video games in the barracks and just waste days and months and years on end doing nothing. But there's wisdom in these scriptures. There's wisdom that can save your soul if you don't gamble it away. What do you believe about Jesus? What do you believe about Jesus? We're going to get into that next. This is uh, part three, and I'm getting ready to go into part four in just a minute. I'm going to make this a short one right now. But what do you believe about Jesus Christ? Your soul and eternity hangs upon that. 
Think about that for a minute. 